So good evening. Uh, my name is Henry Huang, and I'm actually from China, other end of the world, the real other end of the world. So, um, and actually, my question wants to focus. Spirit on animal, sir. Nobody's been giving pronouns or spirit okay. animal. Uh, it's obvious. My pronoun is he, him, him his. <laughs> okay. And, uh, yes. Is, is, is that allowed? And you know, and you know why they are pronouns? Because you were born a man. <laughs> Okay, so spirit animal, tiger, I love it. <laughs> okay, so today the, the, the major issue I want to ask is about the T word, Trump. So um, as we, as a lot of us had re, uh, realized, has known, is um, Trump made the lewd comments back in 2005 on women. I mean, personally, I've been staying in America for four years. I, I, I respect the idea to, to show some, some level of, of respect in the, in, to, to for the political correctness. However, when it reaches to a level that it's starting to influence influencing my life, like pronouns, like changing the grammar and stuff, and using instead of just he or, or I, I, I have to use something like he or she, him or her, it makes my paper look redundant, it makes my speech <laughs> sound redundant, blah, blah, blah. I, I, so, okay, this is, okay, this is very anyway. underrated. This is the aesthetic argument against these bogus pronouns. They just, no, they are you kidding? Like shit they are so, it's reading. like they went out and found the ugliest yeah. combination yeah. of letters in the alphabet. Have you yeah. seen yeah. these yeah. Zia, exactly right. Zims? It's like X, Y, R. It's like they wanted the pronoun to be as ugly as they are. Yeah. Um, you know? <laughs> okay, so actually my question has two parts. First of all, would both of the speakers agree that what Donald Trump has said in the bus in 2005 is actually stepped over the boundary of, of what's being like going straight forward and being actually being rude and in disrespect to female? And, my part, and, my question, and the second part of my question is, will Donald Trump's campaign actually influence the media of how they, how they, how they wording their reports how, how would Americans respond to the political correctness in the near future? Thank you. Thank you. Um, uh, 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 I, I, I'll take the first one, you take the second one. No, I want the first one. Uh, well, I don't know the answer to the second one. Well, then so. we'll both have to answer both. Okay. Fine. Um, well, you answer the first, the first one first, then. Uh, yeah, of course the, the comments are over the line, but they're irrelevant when, when the... Yeah, I'm happy, happy to hear you disagree. There's a rel we had a video, an interview that we did over at the Watergate Hotel just a couple of weeks ago with Juanita Broderick, who's one of the women who have accused Bill Clinton of sexual assault, where she describes a brutal rape and then him holding her down and raping her again. Uh, there's, he settled the sexual harassment with Paula Jones. He's had affairs with, with Jennifer Flowers and, and Monica Lewinsky, as we know. Uh, what he's done to disrespect women over his lifetime is unprecedented, and Hillary Clinton ran the war rooms to try to destroy these women's lives. Uh, the fact that that's not a factor in the campaign trail because, oh, Bill's not on the ticket. Bill's not on the ticket. Yeah, but you're going to go after Donald Trump because Eric Trump tweeted something stupid. Is, is Eric Trump on the ticket? No. Family members have been fair game in this election, aside from Bill, because they know Bill is a huge vulnerability. There have been dozens of women who have accused him of things. A new one came out this week, but again, not a fraction of the, of the coverage at the Clinton News Network as we received from Donald Trump saying something ki kind of over the top 11 years ago uh, with hot mic. I don't oh, Sorry, agree. on a hot mic. Sorry, sorry. I don't agree. Um, I, you know, and there'll be people who, for reasons of propriety and to maybe because they think their girlfriends will be watching or whatever, are going to pretend that, that this is otherwise. I don't know anyone who hasn't said something like that. Maybe I hang out in particularly disreputable circles, but I don't think I do. Um, and I don't believe anyone, I, don't, I particularly don't believe the people crying foul about it when they say that they've never heard anyone talk like it and they've never said anything like that themselves. Of course they have. That's how people talk. Now, the only, it seems to me the only valid criticism here is should that be how a presidential candidate talks? And if it, if it isn't, is it acceptable to have a go at him for things he made 11 years ago when he had no idea he would ever be running for president? Um, seems to me that um, the way, you know, how presidents ought to talk 
is part of um, the speech codes and language codes and stultifyingly dull political correctness that is part of what's energizing uh, the Trump movement in the first place. How presidents ought to talk is part of the problem. And of course, uh, well, he's, you know, the way that he spoke 11 years ago is completely irrelevant to him running for president now. Aside from all of that, more fundamentally, I just don't care that much about these remarks. I don't believe anyone when they say they've never made a remark remotely like that. I think everyone has. I have, and everyone I know has. Particularly anyone under 30. Um, and I don't, think it, I don't think anyone under 30 gives us a flying toss about language like that because we all talk like that. And pretending otherwise is just lies. Well, that... Maybe.